12 million pound bill. Uh, he's uh, taking the wiki. Um, should the police guard outside the Ecuadorian embassy have gone on so long, you might ask? Well, the, the, exactly. It's, what is it, three years or so, and it's taken so much money. Uh, and what I don't quite understand is that, the, you know, they're standing outside mm. to protect him, but at the same time, if he were to ever just put a toenail outside the, the door, they could arrest him. Um, and that's what they're fully intending to still do, even though they've stood down all yeah, their Yeah, they guards. weren't protecting him, they wanted to nab him. Yeah. And he's a, a fugitive from justice hiding in the Ecuadorian embassy in right. London. I suspect the staff regret the day he ever walked in. I mean, it would have been resolved, or possibly resolved, three years ago if he'd have gone to Sweden to answer the, uh, rape, claim, the rape, so. rape allegation. That's what he should have and done. And not have vitamin D deficiency he was no, claiming, and, 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 and say probably he a tunnel been... from the embassy into uh. Harrods and he probably does go to <laughs> but, but he fears he's going to be deported uh. from, uh, from Sweden to the US. He, <laughs> You should remember there, is, there, is, there is a hide. treaty. There is a treaty with with the US <laughs> and Britain, and people get sent off actually yeah, to yeah. face trial from here. Um, very quickly, though, talking uh, of vitamin D deficiency, we're in for a harsh winter as.